Hello. Welcome, welcome to my morning routine live stream. As you will notice, I don't have makeup on today. I do have like a little bit of brow stuff because I don't have eyebrows, but every time I do something that has to do with my morning routine, I feel like my makeup gets in the way of that because it's stuff that I do before I put my makeup on. So I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to not do my makeup for a day. Give my skin just a little bit of a break and show you guys how I actually use my tools. So I'll just give a couple seconds here for some people to come in. I am in sunny Southern California. I don't know if you can say it's sunny. It's kind of gray outside. Oh no. Oh no, it's glitching. Please don't glitch. My phone. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. Darn. I'm going to have to use my husband's. Darn. Okay, I just switched to my husband's phone because my phone has been glitching and I took it to the Apple store twice now and they have yet to fix it. So here we are, we're back in action. Okay, just making sure that's okay. Um, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great day. And I was saying a little bit earlier, but I'm not wearing any makeup because um, well, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, but I'm not, not wearing much makeup because every time I go through one of my morning routine things, the makeup gets in the way. So I was like, you know what? Screw the makeup. I don't need it today. Mm -hmm. Give a couple seconds for people to hear here. Whew. Hopefully this is working, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's not like on the thing. Hmm. That is so weird. That is so weird. Hmm. I don't know if this is working. I can't see if people are joining or not. So weird. That is so strange. Well, here we go. I don't know what else to do. So going to do a couple of different things to start. This is the Kiko Botanical Teeth Whitening Pen. And the reason that I love this is because it is so easy. Wow, there's a lot of gel right off of that. You just apply it. like this to each individual tooth and it's very gentle and pretty natural comparatively. This one can't 
chamomile and lavender in there. And then you just let it sit for a couple minutes. And it gives you a nice wider smile. You will eventually want to wash it off, of course. Um, yeah. So I really like this product because it's so easy to use. You can just kind of do that and then do your hair or your makeup and then, you know, wash, brush it off and you are good to go. So, yeah. Okay, maybe people will be able to see this now. I think lately when I do the live, it's not showing up. So people aren't able to join. So I restarted it for a later time and hopefully people can see it now. Um, just a few moments ago, I did exhibit the Kiko. The Kiko Botanical Whitening Pen. This is a little more natural than dental um, whitening that you do. This is definitely a lot more natural than Crest White Strips, although it's not 100% natural. There's still some hydrogen peroxide in here and stuff, but there's also lavender and chamomile. I think it's a lot softer on your teeth, and it just kind of like gives you that up, that little bit of like a brighter smile for the day if it's a special day. So it's a really great thing for me. You turn at the bottom, you get a little bit more product in the brush, and then you just kind of stroke it on like so. I like that you can get like 
in between because with my other dental whitening stuff, I have like the blue light stuff that I do for if I need like 20 minutes of whitening. And it, I feel like it doesn't get in between the teeth. So this is what I do. Big fan. So I'm just going to let that sit while we do the show. And now we're going to move on to the most expensive thing in my morning routine. I'm just going to get it out of the way. It is the Solo Wave. So the Solo Wave is this amazing, this amazing product that, yeah, you turn on and it uses vibration and red light and warmth to tone and build collagen, encourage collagen growth, even and brighten the skin. So every day, I just sort of go over it like this. It helps get rid of um, imperfections, dark spots. It feels nice because of the vibration and the warmth. It's really comfortable. And yeah, I go over it like this. It can help with puffiness. It can help with elasticity. They say not to do it if you're breastfeeding or pregnant. I don't know why. Probably because there's not enough research on it yet. But yeah, red light therapy is something that I saw all of the celebs doing. And I was like, gotta try that. So Verishop has it for a pretty good deal. If you get it during this live stream, it is $126.65, which is amazing. When you, um, when you charge it, it lasts like a long time. I think I've charged mine twice. I've had it for months. And I don't do it every day, although I probably should do it every day. But... It's definitely an invaluable tool in my toolkit. It's worth the investment. I think when you think about it, it's not that much money. It's the cost of like a facial, a facial and a half, and something you can use over and over again. It's also really compact. It's easy for travel. And it just goes the extra mile. I feel like it like brightens, wakes up my face, we go yeah so that's my little tutorial you can see when it yeah it's got those five little lights and it warms up and it vibrates and it's kind of amazing it's very instinctive which is weird it like knows when I'm using it yeah there we go Okay. Okay. All right, that's enough. That's enough out of you. Sometimes I do have a hard time turning it off, to be honest. It's off. Yeah, it's very compact. I keep it in just a little pouch, clean it after using it, and voila. So now that that's out of the way, let's get to the nitty gritty. These are the eye patches that I love to use. I use these ones on special occasions because they're very thick. So because they're thick, you are you have the most waste. So I don't use these every single day. Actually, I don't use, hi Kristen, how are you? I just went over um, the Solo Wave wand and the Kiko whitening pen. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Right now my teeth are whitening from the pen. Looks like this, put it on like this. How's your day going? Where are you today? I am in Santa Monica. It's pretty cloudy, which I actually kind of like. It's a little moody. It makes me want to sit on the beach and read a book. And now these are these indoor, um, it's a hydrating formula eye mask. They're a little thicker, so they're like my special ones. If I have something going on that, or I'm filming that day, I love these. They are a little pricey, which is why I just wanted to throw them on here because you get them at 15% off during the live or half an hour following. It's called Under Eye Therapy. It uses pineapple extract, cucumber extract, aloe extract. They are so wonderful. And my tip is I like to keep them in the fridge and then they're nice and cool and it feels amazing. So I already did those today. 
The next thing I'm going to do is show you my under eye cream. So I've had a lot of under eye creams in my life. And to be honest, none of them have done too much. And then I realized that you need like caffeine in order for it to do something in the, in the first part of your day. So this has green coffee. It is 91% natural, which is not too bad. It smooths, brightens, and depuffs. So I'm already wearing just a little bit of concealer because like we're doing this show. I didn't want to be like a total hag, but I place it on like so, and I always wipe in upward motions and it literally snatches, it tightens. So I'm just going to do it to one eye and you can see over the course of the show that it actually does tighten, lift a little bit. Also, I was watching, um, I was watching a beauty reviewer, like a, she's a esthetician, I guess. And she was saying that your eyes, I always thought that like the eye skin under the eyes gets thinner and it, I'm sure it does, but she said, it's also just like the face falling. I was like, Oh my God, that's so sad. Hence why I love the solo wave wand. And then this, this is my absolute favorite. So I use the essential lipid serum by Situ Beauty. She actually reposted me today, which is so very sweet. Um, and I already did this once today because I had some zooms, but I'm going to show you the way that I use it. So actually maybe I will just redo it a little bit. Yeah, I probably should. So it doesn't pull anything. You have to have a really good serum that's not too oily so that you can do your makeup over it but is slick enough so that you're not pulling on your face anywhere. You don't want to be pulling. No pulls. Here we go. Here we go. Also, one of the first things I do in the morning is chug water. You got to chug that water. Okay. So let me show you what I do. I follow Sachu's instructions. Let me actually... Put this present again. There we go. This is the best $30 I've ever spent. So the stainless steel, the stainless steel is naturally cooling. It's naturally, it's like, it's not porous. So it's a lot easier to keep clean. You can wash it still, but um, sometimes with Jade, it gets bacteria in it because it's so porous. So this is amazing. And I love, oh, this is my favorite one. Just lift that cheek, lift that cheek. You always, always, always want to jiggle at the end because that helps the drainage, the lymphatic drainage. And just enjoy this process. It's actually quite relaxing. Whew. It always makes me want to take a deep breath because I don't realize how uptight I've been. <laughs> it's pretty wonderful. And you're just applying a mild amount of pressure. Feels good. Just enough to really get into the muscle and get it to relax and pull it up. Get rid of all that drainage, all that baggage from the day before. So I do this in the morning and then I like to use a jade roller at night straight out of the fridge that's my favorite so that's the flat side and then i love to use this double side does anybody have a certain way that they use their gua sha this is the best for the cheekbones look at her look at her i will say i don't feel like this is permanent you know but it helps to prevent a little bit and it just feels better. I wake up sometimes so puffy. I'm trying to drink more ginger tea at night and more water during the day to help with that. Look at the eyes. Do you see a difference? I do. Could be the power of suggestion. I also saw somebody today talking about facial cupping. Oh, it was the same woman. And I want to look into it because she looked amazing.
and she did it under her eyes and in her smile lines. I'm not big on, I've never done filler of any kind, which you could probably tell you can see that even though I have a good amount of collagen for my age, um, I have loss of elasticity here, which I'm approaching mid thirties. It's okay. But hi, Susan Skincare. I'm so happy that you're here. Let me know if you're super into skincare. Maybe you have some gua sha tips and tricks for me. Um, do you have like a favorite brand that you use? Mine is Sachu Beauty. I love, I love this tool. I love her lipid serum. I kind of think she's a genius. Her skin is amazing. Of course, like who knows if she was just born with it kind of like that and then, you know, just also loved beauty and skincare. I don't know. Oh, this feels good. I also really like using this line on the back of my neck to decrease stress. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This should really feel like some relaxing time with yourself. While we're doing this, my Kiko brightening pen is brightening my teeth pretty naturally, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so I don't do filler. I don't have a problem with it. I know, geez, a lot of people who do. Um, but I do feel, sorry, I'm like so relaxed when I'm doing this. I do feel like you don't know how it's going to come out. And sometimes I think it has like this balloon effect where when it leaves, your skin is like, okay, now what? And it just falls. I'm just very skeptical. I think that if I could try little bits of it and it was like some all natural situation, I would do it. But I, I don't think that exists yet. So I just don't do it. So this is, this is where she's at. Wow, I feel so much more awake. So yeah, that is this little guy. And it comes with this nice little pouch for travel, which I very much enjoy because I travel a lot usually. And it's pretty great. So if anybody has any questions at any time, please put them in the comments. But until then, I'm gonna show you my next absolute must. Now, I threw this into my morning routine but to be honest with you, I use it a lot at night as well. Probably half the time in the morning, half the time at night. This is the Premium Copper Tongue Scraper from Kiko. I've had mine for a while, so you will see that because it's copper, it is sort of discolored. And you can actually improve that with rubbing it with ketchup, but I haven't done it. So I've done this on another live before. But I'm not going to show you, but you basically put it to the back of your tongue and you scrape. Did you know that the place in our mouth that, or the place in our body that holds the most bacteria is our mouth and our mouth has more bacteria than it has more like, it's basically a rug. If you look at the bumps and you could imagine zooming in, it's not flat surface at all. There are all these divots. So you need to be cleaning that out a large percentage of disease is linked to poor oral care. This is a very simple way. It's $15. Look, on this live stream, it's $12.71. It is a very simple way to improve your health. And also, it makes me feel a lot better. Like, at the end of the night, sometimes it feels so gross back there, and you don't even notice it because you're used to it. But once you clean it off, it feels so good. So this is a very small thing. It's a very small investment that I feel like can make a really big difference. And then really quickly, I had to throw this in because how freaking cute is this Port and Polish pill box? Are you kidding me? Oh, you can see my ring light. Look how cute. I just love the pastels. It's so nostalgic for me. And this really encourages me to take all of my supplements. I've been taking ritual vitamins and um, it's just, absolutely adorable. So I found sometimes that when I make things pretty and unique, I am much more apt to follow the routine that I have set for myself. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. 
Um, and then the best for last, other than the Solar Wave wand, this is Gloasis. This is the best sellers bundle. So I'm going to go over this with you. This I don't use in the morning, but it comes with the pack. It is the Makeup Melt Cleansing Balm. I am absolutely obsessed with makeup melts because it is such a luxurious and um, moisturizing way to take off your makeup at the end of the night. So this comes with the pack. So you can use it in the morning, but then you have this at night and it's, oh, it smells so good. I wonder if there's fragrance in here. I actually was so into it that I forgot to look. You scoop a dime-sized amount onto, onto your dry skin and you just work it in to a lather and then you wash it off. It's awesome. It is made with vegan probiotics. Probiotics are so good for you and pink cactus extract. It's called Gloasis. It is absolutely wonderful. And then it, I also, in the pack, it has this supercharged hydrating serum which is so wonderful. If you are in your 30s, you know that you start to sort of lose your moisture. And this is a great way to add some on if you um, need some extra boost that day. So after the Essential Lipid Serum, this is my favorite serum. The Lipid Serum I can use any time of the day, but if I'm really wanting to moisturize before bed, or if I know I'm going, um, it's called Glow Shot. How freaking cute is that? Or if I know that I'm going to be like having a really hot day outside, I need extra moisturizer. This is freaking awesome. It gives so much vitamin C to your face. It gives you an instant boost of nutrients. It also has probiotics and cactus extract. All three of these do, which are very calming and natural and mix really well with all different skin types, which is quite wonderful. I also just love the packaging. I think the packaging is so beautiful. How are, how are our eyes doing? Look, look, you can't tell me that this doesn't look at least slightly better than this one. You can't tell me. It definitely does. And then this is the Moisture Milk. The Moisture Milk is a toner technically, and I've never seen any toner ever say that you can use it on your hands, but this says that you can use it on your hands if you don't want to waste product, and that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, I think it's a little easier with a cotton pad, but it's actually better for the environment not to use a cotton pad, so I just had to mention it. It's also made with the same ingredients, also the beautiful packaging. It's vegan, it's clean, it's effective, it's very um, gentle. I have sensitive skin, so anything I approve of is sensitive skin approved, at least for me. I would say that I'm pretty sensitive, not extreme, um, but it's a pH balancing. So our, ba our body's pH gets thrown off by if we're eating too much sugar, if we <clears throat> are having too much dairy, if we... Um, are eating too high of carbs, even too much fruit. If you're eating like a ton of fruit and you're thinking I'm being so healthy, it converts to sugar in the bloodstream, unfortunately. And sometimes that can even throw off your pH, which is okay. That's like the most natural way to throw off your pH. Like you'll survive. But trying to keep your pH in balance is the best thing that you can do for your skin. Your skin is an organ. So this is a great way to do that. Oh, it's just so luxurious. I love the smell and the color. Let me just see if I can show you. It really does look like milk, which is, I don't know. I don't know why, because I'm not like a milk drinker. I will only drink oat milk these days, but something about something being milky, something about it. So like, yes, it smells good. It has to have perfume because I don't see how it couldn't. All the things that I own that don't have fragrance um, don't smell like this. <laughs> I'll have to look that up because I don't see. Hmm. I don't see it. It's got to have fragrance though. This is Korean skincare. And in my experience, I've tried a lot of different skincare things and skincare brands. And in my experience, the Korean skincare is where it's at. They have like eight step processes. They put so much time and energy into creating, cultivating, testing, and making the best products. So Korean skincare, you always know what's going to work. I, I really feel that way. You can call me on it, but I've tried a lot of Korean skincare in my life and it's way better than American drugstore stuff. 
so that's our show today you guys i hope that some of you are able to see this in the videos um that are going to be posted from this onto my feed next week is my last show and we're going to be doing um my hair care guide and there are some super cute things from MLE that I'm excited to share with you and some awesome tools. And I'm just very excited for that one. So I will see you next Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Be there or be square. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.